Welcome to this video. Today, I'll show you how you can build an online business with using Pixabay, which is royalty-free images platform, where you can find the most beautiful prints for all kinds of products free. In this video, we'll run over all the steps to sell all over printed products. I'll show you how to find epic designs, how to set up the print-on-demand supplier that can produce your products, and how to set up your shop to sell. And as always, you'll get many tips and tricks. This can be a fantastic passive income business model that you definitely need to try. So let's dive in. Before we get creative, let's quickly run over the basics. To sell your printed products online, there are essentially three parties involved. A printing company that produces the products, a designer to design the products, that's you after this video, and a seller that markets the products. Obviously, there are many ways to go about it. I'm going to show you what my approach is. First off, if you're serious about selling your designs but you don't want all the hustle of the entire production process and inventory, you will want to work with a print-on-demand company. A print-on-demand company will produce your products once someone buys it. Printing might be more expensive than printing in bulk, but you only pay when a customer buys one of your products. There are many different POD suppliers, so it's really up to you which one to choose. I've chosen to use Printify as I like their business model. It's a platform of local printing companies. You can choose your own default printing shop, depending on the factors that are important to you, like the location. This business model makes that they have a huge catalog of quality products and offer reasonable prices. If you want to set up Printify, there is a link in the description. Signing up is free. Once you have created your products, you can sell your products on one or more marketplaces, or you can create your own website and do your own marketing if you like. Shopify might be a good option for you if you'd like to do that. Whatever channel you're using. Make sure that it's easy to connect to your print-on-demand supplier, because that will save you a lot of headache. I'm using Etsy as it's very easy to set up and it has a huge reach. You will have to set up your shop, which I will show later. Signing up is free, but you will pay to list each product. First, let's find out what products you want to create. As we're creating products with Epic prints all over the design, you will want to look at the accessories and the AOP clothing. AOP stands for All Over Print. As you can reuse one design for multiple products, I'll create a backpack and a phone case in this video to show you the different possibilities. Okay. Now that we've selected our products, Let's find our niche and keywords. Keywords are important, as you want to create a product title that contains keywords that people are looking for, but where there's not a lot of competition. We start with this as you'll want your product design to match the keywords in your title. My tip is to create different sections in your Etsy shop. Per section, you can use a few different designs. This way, you test what works well and what doesn't. Another tip is to use some listings to focus on specific events as those usually sell well. So let's fire up ChatGPT and ask it to create a list of interests and hobbies. As I've recently been to an amazing botanic garden, I'm going to go for gardening now. Let's find out what keywords to use for this. 
I'm going to enter it in Etsy search and start diving deeper until I found keywords that have a reasonable amount of competition to stand out but still sell well. Check out the number of results. and the number of reviews per item. It really depends on the type of product how many customers leave a review, but it still gives an idea of the sales. You can also use a tool like Nike Scraper or Merchant Format to do product research. Once you have your keywords, let's fire up Pexels for the exciting part. Pexels is a website where you can find thousands of amazing illustrations. All photos and videos on Pexels can be downloaded and used for free. Okay, let's find the first design. Type patterns in the search bar and hit enter. If you're excited about one of them, and if you have a pattern you like, you can download your design. Okay, now let's set up your products in Printify. Select your product in the catalog and choose your provider. Depending on factors that matter to you, like the country it ships from, the rating and the prices. In this case, it's only one. So let's start designing. Upload your illustration. Then scroll down and select Create Pattern on the right side. And after that, personalize it until you're happy with it. Ready? Now click on Preview. and download the mockups. After that, save the product. Now let's set up your Etsy shop. Create your first product listing by uploading the mockups of your first product. You need at least one product to open a shop, but you can always change it later on. Enter the keywords in as your title as this is key to being found on Etsy. Enter all the information that is required to list your first product and finalize all the steps to start your Etsy shop. Head over to Printify to connect your Etsy store with your Printify account. Go to My Stores. As you see here, you can connect your account with many different sellers. I'll click on Connect to Etsy. You can connect as many Etsy shops that you want. So experiment as much as you can because this data will ultimately tell you how to become successful. Walk through all the settings to make sure that you're all set up. Finally, make sure to add a credit card in the payments section. Your customers will be paying on Etsy. And Etsy will release the funds to you directly, not to Printify.
Therefore, you will have to pay Printify for the orders to ensure that everything runs smoothly. It's a good idea to pay off your credit card as soon as you receive payment from Etsy. This way you can avoid any potential risk of maxing out your card. If you prefer you can use PayPal instead as as long as you top it up consistently. If you start making sales it might be a good idea to upgrade to premium you will get discount so it will increase your profits. So now you can start growing your online business. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to drop any questions below. And if you would like to see more videos like this please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching.